So BTC is floating around the 66K. There's been a mix of like bullish news and there's been a mix of this bearish news as well. So the market seems a little bit undecided, but I'm going to show you today why I still think the best route is for us to go up first. And because of that, I want to take you through a, a couple of sectors in the market. I'm going to show you tokens that I am looking at buying right now on these current levels where they are sitting. So we got a lot to talk about today. I am feeling quite bullish. We're going to bring out the bullhorn and uh, let's just have some fun. I promised you guys yesterday when I started the show, I said tomorrow banter bubbles is going to be green and, and this is the best I could get you. So we got about we got about a 70% green here. It's better than all red. I mean, yesterday was a, a horrible feeling, but yesterday was a day of opportunity. And now are we going to get our follow through? Is this the time uh, where we're going to get the actual move that we are looking for? So we've seen like uh, green shoots everywhere. I mean, we've got this ENA 40%, uh, FLR 28%. Uh, I, I see some of the other the exchange tokens crypto.com and bgb they are pushing so there is a lot of activity in the market and we did get a decent bounce uh, on some of these areas that i showed you but the key now is are we going to get the follow through and i'm going to show you uh, a lot of these tokens that i've been working on and uh, obviously we're going to talk about btc and uh, let's uh, Ooh, i see joshua's in the chat saying dump is coming tomorrow okay well we're going to discuss this at length uh let's uh let's just see where we are with btc quickly and uh yeah okay so this is the current situation this is btc on the four hour uh that i'm playing with at the moment and you can see a little bit of uh, indecision at the moment but it is trying to make its way a little bit higher so big levels that we are watching and big levels that we are still watching uh at the moment we are looking at 64 800 and a little bit lower remember we have that cme gap that we didn't completely close here uh at about 64 250 that sort of region that I was looking at yesterday, we did come down to it uh, and ping it last night, but uh, it didn't quite uh, didn't quite finish the job. So that is something we still need to think about. But right now, the lows for me uh, are these candle lows of the day. So that is my support, and that is how I've based my current longs that I'm trading uh, on leverage. I've taken that uh, low as BTC as the bottom uh, of this move, and I've based a lot of my longs uh, on this exact situation. So if we lose that area, we need to start reassessing uh, where we are. Then with regards to upside, you can see what's going on here. We've got a 382 in the way uh, at 67,100. So that is offering a little bit of resistance here and you can see uh the bears and the scalpers they're selling uh these types of areas you can see we've got horizontals here we've got a 382 and uh, that's easy for us we can see uh this is a nice little resistance zone 67 200 so what do i want to see well if we do push lower i just want to see the double bottom and uh, then a nice little healthy uh bounce up there for us so a little bit of a a, a push lower just to put uh, put the bulls under pressure make us feel uncomfortable uh and then send it higher and then upside if we pop this region i think then it's a nice little quick move uh, for us to the 68 uh, sixty-nine thousand dollar level. That is what I'm looking at now for today. That is my plan. So if we lose these big zones, then we reassess. Then we got to replan where we are, and that's when we start looking uh, at our next potential level. So let's just see what is going on out there. And uh, I, I just love this tweet from James from Stratton. He was saying in the last two days, five point two billion dollars was sent to exchanges at a loss by short-term holders. This is BTC, and he says the market continues to shake out the lettuce hands. Now, guys, if you are sitting in spot BTC, I wanna just show you something again. Look into this man's eyes. If you are sitting in spot BTC, he is gratefully taking these BTCs from you. Every time you capitulate, every time you get nervous, every time you sell, look how he's looking at you again. He wants your Bitcoin. He wants those lettuce hands. He encourages you to carry on like that. So. Just remember, when you are offloading your BTC, he's taking them all with pleasure. He doesn't mind buying the top. He doesn't mind buying uh, the big levels. Remember, he was buying the top uh, at 42K and everyone thought he was crazy. And look how the man is performing now. So just remember where your BTC is going. Now, uh, Martin gave us some kind of bullish uh, bullish feels here as well. He says, according to BTC net taker volume, the selling volume is reducing okay which gives room for a bounce okay so that's a nice little uh, bullish little move there for us and uh well here's the bearish one okay this is the one this is the one that scares everybody i saw dupes did a show this morning and he was talking uh, about something along these lines so this is zach xbt but he's talking about 30,000 uh btc from the silk road hack funds 
okay controlled by the u.s government is on the move now if it's on the move where are they moving it to what are they doing so everyone always panics when they see these things moving people start getting nervous they think the government wants to offload and uh, you know start dumping btc but i did post this tweet this morning so follow me on at uh, the lord of entry okay and uh, what we're saying th there's an uncanny resemblance here okay the last bitcoin sell by the government was in 2023 just day three days before the svb uh, collapse which marked the low point now uh, why are these guys always trying to sell the bottom what is the story okay am i am i wrong am i right <laughs> you're right <laughs> so no, what is the story? story it's like it's like every time kathy wood sells her coinbase shares we pump every time the government sells the bottom uh, of BTC, we seem to pump. So, you know, maybe it's a thing. So just consider that uh, for a moment. Is that a sign uh, that the bottom is in? Look, if not, and they're going to really dump, I mean, if these guys are really going to be that foolish that they're going to market sell 30,000 BTC, well, I mean, then we're going to end up at 12K before, uh, you know, before we can even blink. So <laughs> make sure you get your buyers ready. I'll definitely be hitting the hitting that bullhorn for that, bro. <laughs> I mean, I'll buy BTC at 12k. Fuck it. Um, <laughs> okay, and then here's some here's some other bull source for you guys. Okay, Tether uh, Tether Treasury minted one billion USDT again two hours ago. Okay, now yesterday I spoke to you guys about this. I told you when uh, when they start printing uh, and minting USDT, all the bulls start getting excited and the WhatsApp chat groups start firing up and all these things correct. And we pull out this money printer. There it is okay and everybody gets excited and uh, we get some kind of pumpage so uh, this is why i keep thinking that the best route here is got to be up it's got to be north uh for us and uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna back this up with this liquidation uh schedule as well for you this is the seven day binance liquidation map that you guys need to look at and on the right hand side you can see the shorts on the left hand side you can see the longs and where's the most obvious place to send it right now if you're a market maker and you these guys where do you make your most money where do you have your most fun at the moment and to me it's looking too obvious that these shorts are piled up all the way to 73k we've got two billion dollars worth of shorts here that we could take advantage of if we sent it up so if i was sitting in the boardroom there and we were deciding our next move um i would say the, the easiest route for me would be to send it up. So Ray, I don't know. I don't know your opinion. Do you, do you agree? Um, it just Max smells pin like... is up. Max pin is up. Bears are getting to you for it. Exactly. These bears are getting too clever. They keep shorting and they're shorting on support. I don't know. It feels like we've seen this movie before. Okay. Um, so that's uh, that's my bull case, right? And uh, that is my plan. So as long as BTC on this four hour is printing these higher lows, uh, we can't really get too bearish. So uh, this is my current trading situation on Prime XBT. And uh, this is, you know, this is where it's at at the moment. So I've taken a bet here that uh, BTC has hit the bottom for this specific move. And uh, I'm now sitting in these positions at the moment. So uh, it's been a little bit of up and down today a little bit of red a little bit of green and uh, we're sitting waiting so if we start losing uh, those btc lows well then i'm going to get absolutely rinsed and uh, if it bounces well then i was right you know and then we'll be hitting the bullhorn uh, tomorrow so if you want to join me uh, i'm trading on weeks and i'm trading on prime xbt here uh, today both of these are links in the description of the show okay and there is something else brewing for you guys that I haven't actually told you about, but you obviously know about it. If you're watching Run Show, you know uh, that there's a gummy token airdrop that is happening, okay? And uh, there's a couple of things you have to do, but you're going to get the airdrop for this gummy token. It's free as long as you are following the instructions that are in the show description, okay? So go to the description of the show. You need to be on one or two of the exchanges uh, that Banter is using and these type of things, and you will qualify for this gummy mean coin airdrop. It's going to be a massive situation and uh, i mean there are sexes involved as in centralized exchanges and uh, th there's all sorts of things going on there it's going to be huge so uh, all i can say is make sure you get a piece of that gummy airdrop sign up to any of those uh, links in the description if you want to partake uh, in the gummy party and then as well uh, as these trading exchanges now i tell you every day that i use these things but take advantage prime xpt seven percent sign up bonus for you guys uh weeks that i'm going to show you now as well uh they got up to a 20 percent sign up bonus at the moment and they are giving away a hundred dollars uh, to everybody who signs up on the link if you qualify they're giving away to the first they're actually selecting a random amount 
okay, of people. They're giving away $10,000. You are going to get $100 if you signed up to that week's account and you are trading. So take advantage. And they also have that rinse protection that I told you guys about uh, for your first trade. So uh, this is my current week situation. And uh, I'm long Pyth and I'm still long Manta. That's also been up, down, up, down and uh, a bit of a mixed bag. So that is where I'm sitting uh, at the moment on week. So, you know, I'm, I'm primed here. I'm set up. I want to go north. We want to send this higher. I don't feel like crying. I don't feel like going to zero. So, you know, we're going to blow these candles and we're going to push this thing. Uh, we're going to push this thing higher. Okay. What am I watching here? This is BTC on the weekly. So no real changes here. You can see a lot of chop, a very tight range, and uh, it just feels like so much indecision. So we're waiting for this uh, dominance just to come and bang onto this trend line. So it can at least make a call for us. We need to make a decision. Are we sending this thing north? Or are we breaking down and are we sending uh, these alts to Valhalla? Remember, if we lose this rising trend, that is good for these altcoins. The, the, the further dominance falls for us the better uh is the, the or the more fun we are going to have with these uh with these altcoins so that is what we want we don't really want a pumping dominance okay right before i get into the juice for today i've got so much fun for you guys i've got so much fun planned uh for you guys i see jay says he wants guns and uh mo says in the beard we trust you trust in the beard my friends trust in the beard um okay let's see what else we got what else we got who else is here um i've got a nice mix here for you guys i must say um let's go i'm just reading the chats i'm just reading the chat um i'm just trying to see my people here okay so the, all these guys are still shouting this bat cat at me i see yanko's here he says he says please sell me your bitcoin okay he will buy them him and michael Saylor uh, are gonna buy your bitcoin from you. um okay let's go so this is my plan for today this is what i wanted to show you guys so this is queen gecko top eight most profitable crypto narratives in 2024 how shit are layer twos okay ray look at this 39 percent okay for layer twos i mean we don't get out of bed unless we're getting multiple x's here and layer twos are giving us 39 percent um it's ridiculous it's absolutely ridiculous dare i even say meme coins okay so meme coins are at the top of the list those ones hurt the most okay when the party's over those are the ones that hurt the most so i cannot stress this enough meme coins are fun until they're not fun anymore okay i've been playing in meat coins up and down up and down up and down some are pumping some are getting me rinsed it's an absolute dog show so yes some of them are 1300 percent up but uh, it's a tricky market. So uh, I've left out meme coins for today. What I'm giving you today uh, is a little bit of each sector here. It's from number two to number eight. We're going to start with the absolute dogs. Okay, the layer two. I've got one or two layer twos for you. Then I've got gaming for you. Layer ones, Deepin, DeFi, AI, and RWAs. I'm giving you a nice mix. We've had a dump from BTC. We are sitting on good areas. Is this the opportunity? Is this the time to DCA? Is this the time to add to your spot bags? Is this the time to take a couple of positions? What if the market runs away from you tomorrow and you missed this golden opportunity? So I'm going to give you some levels to work with today. I'm going to give you levels lower down as well in case it moves on. And uh, we just want to make sure you guys are covered. Okay. So number one, here's Arbitrum. Okay, so this falls under the layer two dog shit category, the, the worst performer of 2024. And uh, here it is, Arbitrum. So what has it done? It's finally moved back to the 200 day moving average. This is exactly what we were looking for. I added this one onto Sniper Club yesterday and just absolute perfection. The way it came down here and pinged the 618. You cannot make this stuff up. Okay, look how accurate this was on the 618. Okay, these things are real. The science is real. We are here for the fibs and uh, they deliver time and time again for us. So here is Arbitrum sitting on a 618 fib. It's sitting on a 200 day moving average. What does this tell me? It tells me it's a very big zone. It tells me it's a very strong area uh, of interest here. This is where we're looking for our first level, our first bounce zone that we are looking at for Arbitrum. So I love this area. If you like layer twos, this is where it's at for you. Uh, for Arbitrum, this is where you can start laddering into your position anywhere on the support base from about 1.43 down to about 1.38 that's a nice little juicy area here for us uh, for arbitrum that is where it's at uh, for arbs and then uh, let's just take a look a little bit lower down i just want to highlight your next zone so if they do want to melt us down okay let's say they come and nuke the market that they're so stupid that they're going to sell 30,000 BTC, okay? And they want to come and nuke us. We need to understand where's the next level, okay? If you like layer twos, if you like 39%, okay? 
39% in 2024. So it's the worst performer. Okay. If you like layer twos, your next level for Arbitrum, 1.2. Okay. So this is your next zone. Okay. So they come and nuke us. You sit there waiting. You wait with your little basket. That is where we're catching it. That is where we're getting uh, some Arbitrum. So right now I have added to my Arbitrum position. This is a hot zone. I've explained why I like that area. And uh, lower down, if they're going to nuke us, then we're adding more at uh, 1.2. So those are my zones there uh, for Arbitrum. I would suggest marking it on your charts. Put an alarm on these areas. If we do get a meltdown in the dead of the night, at least you're going to get pinged. And uh, you know that it's going to hit your zone. Okay, the next one is uh, Optimism. Another layer two, again, another altcoin dropping into a high impact zone, dropping into a major support zone. Why is this a major support zone? Uh, well, look at this. We've got these horizontals. We spoke about this one yesterday and uh, here it is. So now it's banging our rising trend. It's banging our horizontals. So that is a nice juicy area. And then the same story, the exact same play uh, with Arbitrum. If they want to come and nuke us and they want to take us deeper, Where's our next reaction zone? Where's the most likely place where we're going to get a bounce out of the market if they do bleed us out? Well, look at this. We've got horizontals and the 200-day moving average in for you guys here at uh, 2.6. So that is a massive zone uh, for optimism. So if you like layer twos, if you like the 39% for the whole of 2024, I actually can't believe those numbers. Um, it's actually ridiculous because we've traded Matic, we've traded all these things. And uh, I mean, if you look at the, if you look at it from that perspective, that 39% is actually tiny uh, compared to what is going on. So there's your next zone. Okay, so right now, long for optimism is right here for me. Until Bitcoin starts losing those lows, anywhere in this region for me is long for optimis optimism. Until BTC loses those lows from earlier today, that's an area for me. If we do get a capitulation and we do get a meltdown, your next area, 2.6. That is where it's at uh, for optimism. That is if they give us the meltdown, that is where we are buying it. And you can see these stocks lower down. They are starting to tee up and they're starting to look juicy. Here's the stock uh, on the eight hour as well, sitting nice and low for us again, telling us we might look for some kind of move up. Remember last time the stock moved up, look what happened to the price. The price started pushing up. Okay, here we are again. Here's the stock settling down at the bottom. What happens if we do uh, get this push up? So that is what I'm looking for uh, on optimism. Okay, let's dump it. Hold on, hold okay. on, hold on. I think we need to slow down. There, there's no likes. I don't think this content is Ooh, good. The like bouncer. Here. The yeah. like bouncer is here, guys. Listen to Uncle Ray. Please. Listen to Uncle Ray. Okay, and it's very important. And again, I, I need, can't stress this enough. If you like the content, hit the like button. Actually show that you like the content. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, hit the bell so you get notified uh, when I come on live. Okay, Ray, how was that? Solid, eh? Solid, I mean, solid, solid. 243 likes and 1600 here. The yeah, math come doesn't on, add up. Come on, people. Let's let's work together here. Okay. Um, here's uh, so the next uh, the next segment for you guys. Okay. Gaming. Now I can't believe gaming was 64%. We started off with such a bang on gaming at the beginning of the year. I really thought uh, it was a much bigger uh, performer than that. And uh, the first token I've got for you for the gaming guys. Okay. Again, IMX. This is a massive play. We know Hustle loves. Uh, a bit of IMX. We know long-term IMX is the boss. We know IMX is a massive project and uh, we know it's got legs. So as soon as we can uh, snag a nice little entry zone or a nice little area for us on IMX, you know, then uh, then we're feeling good. Then we're feeling relaxed. We bagged a nice little entry. So here we go, IMX. Look at this massive support here right now for us. This is huge. Uh, 2.48, 2.49. It's going to take a lot of work for it to lose this area. It's really going to take some kind of Bitcoin capitulation uh, into this region, this 2.5, if we are going to lose that area. So uh, IMX traders, if you are holding IMX, okay, this is your level. This is your support that you need to watch. If we uh, if we push down to 2.5, that is a buy. That is a buy down uh, to 2.5. That is an area where we are looking for bounces. If they want to send us lower, okay, if they want to really burn us. And remember, if they're going to do this to you, okay, if you really want them to do that to you, Okay, and you capitulating and the market's capitulating. Where's our next region? Where's our next buy? And uh, that has to be, for me, IMX 2.15. So 2.15 is the next zone. Okay, if they do melt us down, things get depressing. We're feeling sad. We're feeling upset. That is where it is for me. Two point, uh, call it 2.15. So that is a hot zone there uh, for us for IMX. And, uh, you know, my prime zone, my first zone uh, is got to be. 
this region up here at the 618. So watch this area. If you are sitting in IMX, nothing you need to do at the moment other than chill. Okay, you've got your support uh, at 2.5. There's nothing to panic about. Let it do its thing. And uh, 2.5 is where it's at for you. And uh, the same old play as always, if we start breaking trends and uh, we do these things, then we get bullish. We start adding, getting all excited. And uh, then the bull market's on again. We're smashing the bull horn every day. And, uh, you know, we are just, uh, we're just having a laugh, basically. So wait for that trend break. But uh, loving these two areas here on, uh, on IMX. Chris says, thoughts on Celestia. <laughs> I know Ray is hating uh, Celestia at the moment. That's been the biggest disappointment other than Injective. Uh, I think sure. Celestia. He's a sure. Injective, look, Injective is moving today. Okay, so if you guys got my entry for Injective yesterday, you should be up. Um, it is moving for you guys, so that is uh, that is looking good. Um, but Celestia, yeah, Celestia has been a proper uh, disappointment. Okay, here's another gaming token for you guys. So this is called Prime. Uh, this is Prime on the 12 hour, another one of Hustle's favorite uh, tokens, and you can't ignore this area. It just looks too good, okay? If this was the bottom uh, of that move, look how Prime is settling right now. On this 382 fib look out settling uh, on this horizontal this is a major area for me uh, for prime so 19.9 is my prime hot zone very nice and juicy and then even better you know here's an opportunity here if they're going to melt you down look at this we've got the 50 day ma we've got horizontal tied in here for you a little bit lower down at 17.8 so both of these for me uh, are hot zones both of these are areas where you want to start building your position both of these are areas you can start sniffing around uh, and looking because remember, if we start breaking that trend, then things could start accelerating again and, uh, you know, start moving at a little bit of a faster pace. So the bull's going to want to look for that when we break that trend. We're going to get a nice move. But right now, you can't ignore this is current hot zone with that bleed out. If that was the bottom of BTC, this is the bottom uh, of this move for me at 20 uh, for prime. And then a little bit lower down, look at 17.87. So both of these uh, are nice little areas. Depends how you're playing it. If you're building a spot position, well, you're buying here and uh, any more weakness, you're going to add to your position a little bit lower down. If you're trading leverage, uh, then you need to be a little bit more measured and reserved. And uh, if you start losing key supports, then you need to look at your next big zone and your next big zone is clear as day here uh, at this uh, 17.8 region. So that is how I'm playing prime at the moment. Ray, I can't believe you hate uh, you hate Celestia so much. <laughs> Yeah, we had to shut that position down yesterday. We shut that bitch down. <laughs> it was so dark. That horse was not working for us. No it horse. was so dark. <laughs> um, okay, so Piesco says check out Super. Well, that is my next one that I have for you. Okay, so gaming tokens. I've uh, got a nice little mix here. Here's Super uh, for you guys. And we picked this one up yesterday and it's reacted perfectly. So yesterday, uh, just to remind, uh, to remind you where we were, yesterday we had this trend uh, coming down here and we had super retesting the trend and we had super retesting the horizontal so this was a nice reaction zone for us this was an area of interest why was it we had a 382 fib we had the horizontals and we had a trend uh, in that area there were multiple reasons why we were going to get a bounce or a reaction and uh, that is what they gave us so super uh, decent move so far at least we're saying okay we're reacting off that zone and uh, we know it is an area of interest so super traders what are you watching what do you like uh, support one point 1.16 that's a lovely zone now 1.16 that is what you're watching and then a little bit lower down you've got your wicks that you need to pay attention to 1.1 and one on the button both of these are areas that they could easily come and wick you if we get a market meltdown that's where you need your stink bids. That's what you need to be watching for. But right now, if you are long uh, on super, there's absolutely nothing to worry about until you start losing the lows that we printed earlier yesterday or earlier today. And uh, that low is going to be around 1.13. So until we start losing that, there's no real change uh, to the current situation. We could easily just see things consolidate in this area for a couple of days before uh, we get some kind of massive uh, move and maybe it's going to lead into this weekend so it will be quite interesting to see uh, how we play out thursday and uh, we're going to see if we're going to get some kind of green uh, friday and uh, weekend for us okay let's see what else i've got i've got another gaming chart i've got another gaming chart for you guys uh no we're done we're done with the gaming charts okay so next we've covered layer twos dog shit 
Gaming, 64%. Can't believe it. Uh, there was only 64%. Leo won 70. I mean, this must have been completely uh, carried by Solana uh, in the last while. So, you know, again, we talk about Sol all the time. Sol for me is as important as ETH. It's as big as ETH. And again, a massive recovery. We spoke about Sol yesterday. I told you why I believe Sol is going to reach all-time highs in April. Uh, they might dunk us first. They might dip us first. But we know the liquidity and the unlocks, all these things coming into the Solana ecosystem cannot be ignored. So no changes to Sol other than what I can give you again is your support 176. Watch that area and nothing wrong if they want to give us a flag in the zone. It's still bullish. Anything down to this region, anything down to 160 for me. We've got a bull flag. It's looking good and let it take its time if they really must. And the big zone that I'm watching is 205. You can see this. We've pinged it a couple of times and just no, when we do blow that area, it's going to be a mover. It's going to be a big move for me for Seoul. And I'd say 250, watch out. And, uh, you know, after that, anything is possible. I mean, there's guys talking $400 Seoul, $600 Seoul, these type of things. But uh, 250, first step is what we're watching. And nothing wrong with the flag. So if you see some weakness in Seoul, nothing wrong with it. You want to buy these dips. You want to buy these moves uh, down to this 160 region. Still looks good for me uh, for Solana. Okay, what else is going on here? What else? What else? What else? Say, questions for Say from UK Mob Entertainment. I was looking at Say today. It was looking a little bit boring. Uh, Intelligent Art says uh, he or she loves AI. I've got AI for you. Um, Noah's looking for Fetch. Uh, let's see. Do I have Fetch today? No, I don't have Fetch today. Uh, what else? We got Ondo. I've got Michael. I've got Ondo for you. I've teed it up. Uh, it's coming. Uh, Vincent says, don't fade super. I agree. Big things uh, installed here for super. So definitely one of the, one of the plays that uh, I'm very interested in. Um, okay, let's go to the next one. Layer one, AVAX. Okay, uh, it was a toss up for me between uh, Phantom and AVAX. I thought, well, let's just recap AVAX because it actually gave us exactly what we wanted yesterday. So yesterday, if you remember, we had BTC pushing down onto a 618 and we had AVAX. Uh, sitting on this 50-day MA. And I was telling you, we need to wait for Bitcoin to actually, I mean, we need to wait for AVAX to ping the 618 before I was comfortable uh, for any decent moves yet. So we had AVAX on this 50-day MA, but BTC had already pinged the 618. So it wasn't feeling right. And then in the dead of the night, what did they do? They came and they pinged us on the 618 for AVAX and the rising trend. So this is now our support marker for AVAX. And this is a massive level for me. So you've seen, I'm long currently uh, AVAX on Prime XBT. And this is huge for me, this, uh, this candle low. If we start printing lower uh, than this 45 region, then we're going to have to start cutting uh, the AVAX position because it could be telling us that we are heading uh, a little bit lower down. So this is why this 45 is a huge region uh, for me at the moment for AVAX. You can see, if you look at this chart, why is this an important region? We've got the rising trend. We've got the horizontals in play as well. And we've got the 618, which we know is the absolute banger. And we've had BTC ping the corresponding 618. So for me, it's long AVAX in this region. If we lose the low, uh, from earlier today, then, you know, we need to change our system, we need to change our strategy, and then we are potentially looking uh, at this lower region here at around about 40. So these are your two, uh, two big zones, these are your two hot zones, and uh, if you can, try and look for a candle close on AVAX. If we start losing the lows there uh, and losing the trend, try and see if you are watching your trade live, see if you can get that candle close. Obviously, if you are sleeping or you're not at your PC, that's a different story. You need to set your stops and you need to set hard stops uh, in those areas. But look out for some kind of press down here. Look out for some kind of fake out before they then go and send it higher. So just eyes on that. But if we lose this trend, you know the drill. We're possibly going to be looking uh, at a buy of that 786 fib at 40. So that is the big one. And uh, I see EG lately says uh, Jay Powell uh, is about to speak. So that could be fun. I mean, last time he single-handedly saved uh, the crypto market when he uh, he gave us some dovish talk uh, after the uh, after the rates announcement. And uh, he basically came and, and he saved the day. So is he going to save it again? Uh, while the market is bleeding out. <laughs> well, uh, James doesn't seem to think so. <laughs> he says Paul's about to fuck us all. <laughs> well, look, last time he pumped the markets. Okay, so uh, let's see what he has to say. Let's see what he has to say. Give the give the man a minute, you know, let him uh, let him do his thing. And uh, Tay says, when is Matic waking up? Jeez, you know, 
Tay, all I can say uh, when we see this comment here, where's Tay's comment? I keep trying to click it up. Uh, there. Uh, Tay, so just remember when you say, when is Matic waking up? And I'm also guilty of this. Go to this list. Look at number eight, layer two, 39%. So in short, the answer is never. <laughs> I mean, these layer twos have been absolute dog shit uh, for 2024. So, uh, you know, we're hoping for something better. I love a Matic trade. I love an ARB trade. I love an Optimism trade. But uh, the reality is that the, the stats don't lie and the facts don't lie here. And 39% uh, in a pumping crypto market is uh, is is dismal. Uh, it's not Their a good time. Market. will come. Their time is going to come. Look, exactly. Okay, Uncle Ray, he's right. Their time will come. But right now, the time, I don't know. Uh, the time is not now. Um, <laughs> I see Oni Sir says, Dill with the open shirt. How relaxed. I'm super relaxed here. Uh, you know, we got uh, we got alts dropping into nice little areas. We have to be relaxed. We can't panic. Okay, You can only panic. Never, actually. But, uh, you know, never get stressed out. Okay? Because at the end of the day, we trade it. Okay? And if you're a trader, you need to understand you lose sometimes. You get it wrong sometimes. If you wear your losses every single time, you're going to mentally disintegrate yourself. You're going to kill yourself. You need to be happy when it's down. You need to be happy when it's up. Because at the end of the day, you can't get emotionally attached uh, to these things. So all I can say is a loss is a loss. And a win is a win. And is what it is. And uh, the excitement should be the same. You know, whether you're winning or losing, you must just always just try and remain balanced. It is what it is. These levels, uh, they do their thing. If you're going to lose a level, well, then you're onto the next one. And remember, there's always always another trade if you lose a trade there's always another trade especially in the crypto market the next day uh, later on a couple of hours later there's always something going on for you guys so uh, never get too hard on yourself and uh, okay here we go so this is my first uh, deep in play okay so we've done layer ones okay 70% up for 2024 deepen 81% okay now deepen is like Basically, it's weird language for just mixing up tokens together and calling it something. Okay, so anyway, the the, the fundamental guys like to classify these things as deepen. So uh, here's the first one. It's called data uh, streamer data coin. Okay, so this is uh, on multiple exchanges, and we can't ignore where this thing is sitting right now. It's sitting on a 618 fib. It's sitting on a horizontal, and it's sitting on a rising trend. Okay, so for me, this is an entry zone. This is where I'm buying uh, some more of this data and uh, looking at this zone you can see why it's nice and juicy for me we've got major horizontals in play here and uh, it's just a lovely region so anything down for me to 0 0.068 anything into this region is for buying it's for dcaing and uh, those type of things and that is where i'm looking for the bounce if they are going to be so mean okay let's say they sell those 30k btc let's say jerome powell isn't nice today okay Where's our next level? What's our next area? Well, our next area, 0 0.056. That is your next zone. Okay, so it's very clear here uh, that uh, what we need to do. And uh, it could take a couple of days to play out. So if we lose this main region up here that we're looking at, uh, give it a few days. Let's see uh, where this thing eventually settles. But I would say eyes on the next horizontal zone. That is going to be the area of interest for you. 0 0.056. 0 0.057 anywhere uh, in those regions that is your next level that is what you're going to be waiting for so set your alarms uh, on your charts there that is the area uh, that you want okay let's see what else we got uh who's asking for orca uh abby thomas says orca uh, i did discuss orca yesterday we had uh, nice support i think around the 200 day moving average and uh, ooh, james says pal speech nuclear bomb guys if you are in the chats there and you're watching pal talk <laughs> let us know uh what he's saying Okay, let us know let us know what the man uh, is telling us he saved us last time come he can't rinse us this time um i see pj fox is back okay nice to have pj fox back in the crowd um okay the next one i've got for you are weave so it falls under this deepened category and another altcoin on another major level you guys are seeing the pattern here we've had this dump on bitcoin and uh, these alts have settled in to hot zones here they've settled into areas where we should get some kind of reaction so we're going to play the same game again we're watching these big areas what do we do uh, if we lose the area well we're going to plan for that now so uh, step number one for are we we know what run thinks of this project we know uh, that the guys are super bullish uh, on are at the moment so what i can say to you here watch your support if you are sitting in are 
32.5 anywhere in that region is for me is a support buy it's an area that you want to be looking to add to your positions and uh, start growing your your spot bag on our weave i know uncle craig was also buying uh, some our weave today at 33 so he's super bullish uh, on our weave at the moment he's also trying to grow uh, his bag size and then what do we do if we do get a bleed out where's our next zone okay look at this 50 day ma tied in with horizontal okay your next absolute banger zone for our weave okay 29.5 okay so great area here uh so first zone anything into this uh, into this uh, 618 fib anywhere into that region looks good for me and uh, then a little bit lower down this is your next zone this is your btc uh, they start sending us below the lows from yesterday we start feeling upset that's where we're going uh 29.5 that's a hot zone uh for me and then uh, dare i give you this lower level here this is the stink bid level this is the one where you have a order preset on your phone you have a preset limit order ready for you uh for our weave at uh, 25.5 okay have that one ready that's your stink bid zone uh where you're going to be looking uh for potential our weave move there if they do give us a beat up so number one is not going there 25 it's not going there, right? <laughs> I was gonna start say watching never. this somewhere. Never say never. Never say never. But we might be at McDonald's, okay? If if all we've goes to twenty five, fuck me. <laughs> It means that market is bleeding. Um, okay, so watch these big zones. I like it and uh, very easy to track now. You can see we've got a nice little downtrend in play for us for our weave. So if you're looking for longs uh, and you are feeling bullish, well, wait for this little trend break. Okay, we can get this trend break and then we can start firing this thing off. And look at that, uh, look at that horizontal. So look for that retest uh, for the little buy after we break that trend. So that could be a nice one uh, for you guys. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go. Let's go. Um, anyone in the chat? Let me know what Jay Paul is saying. Yeah. Um, <laughs> IX says, Dylan says, I'm bullish today. Paul says, hold my beer. Is this guy absolutely going to fuck us up? Yeah, right. What's he saying? Do you have it on there? No, don't. No, sure it up. Somebody drop the link in the comments, please. <laughs> okay, James says the Dow Jones just reversed uh, on uh, on Paul's comments. Let's pull up the S and P quickly. Let's uh, let's just see. No, Bitcoin's green. Bitcoin's green. We chilled. We chilled. We chilled. We chilled. Um, let's just look at the S and P quickly. Let's look at the S and P on a smaller time frame. Yeah, let's look at it on one one hour quickly. Yeah. Okay, let's let's see what's going on. Okay, so nothing to panic about just yet. Okay, so we've been green for a couple of hours. You can see Powell started talking, and uh, here we got a little red, uh, little red candle. So okay, we'll pay attention. Okay, um, Cunning George says Powell says go all in, long and strong, bro, uh, long and strong. Um, okay. I'm loving this uh, reliable commentary from everybody in the chats. <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, Deepin, we have covered. Are we, we are covered. What's the next one? Uh, DeFi, 99%, okay? Uh, that's not bad, okay? So obviously, where do we go? Solana Strength, Radium. I love Radium. You guys know uh, I love this Radium situation. So here we go. We can see Strength on Radium right now. Uh, 2.4 is where it's at now. So we're pushing this trend. So let's pay attention. Uh, radium is where it's at. You know, uh, if we if this was considered a dip, look how Radium has performed uh, considering the current situation. Now we know Radium is obviously doing well because of the meme situation, Solana strength, all these things. So eyes on Radium. I think this could be a nice little mover for us. So look out here. We're in a resistance band right now uh, on Radium. But if we do get this pop, look for that little move. And then we got a nice little long uh, in play here for us on Radium. So eyes on this right now. We've got a nice mover here. Uh, could be a good one for us and big support radium traders massive support here it's going to take a lot to break this i mean the market's going to have to be absolutely am i, am I allowed to say fuck the market's going to be absolutely fine um if we start losing uh this 1.8 here uh on radium so watch this region 1.8 is massive support uh, for you right now look for that trend break we might have something brewing here uh on uh, on um radium Okay, so X Cordian says uh, Paul is at the pulpit. Okay, guys, just keep it coming. If he's if he's saying nice things here, he's saying uh, things. Look, we'll probably see it uh, in the chart. Um, 
Powell wants the community voice channel back on the Sniper Discord. <laughs> uh, guys, we'll get it back. You guys were asking for it today. Who was asking for it in the chats? I think, yeah, Modfly was asking for it in the chat. So, guys, for those of you who don't know, we got this thing called Sniper Club. It's me and Sheldon, and it's the Sniper team, okay? And we are we dumping signals, we're dumping charts, we're doing airdrops, we're doing fundamentals, we're doing degen plays, we're doing everything in there, and we're doing live Zooms. Today, uh, Sheldon and I took some longs on a private live Zoom after uh, Sheldon's show we did a private zoom for sniper club and uh, we do multiple uh, we do about six or seven of these per week uh, and it's mixed between the entire sniper club i'm involved on wednesdays fridays and sunday evenings uh, we do sniper club streams and uh, the rest of the team there's something going on pretty much every single day and uh, one of the main aspects uh, of sniper club is the charts that we give you guys every day so the charts that you see on my show i drop these in my watch list on the sniper club i drop 20 to 30 charts a day for you guys that you can go in and look at my levels look at my areas you can copy these charts and you can set up your trades accordingly so the things you're seeing on the show it's just a drop it's just the tip of the iceberg of what you're getting uh, in Sniper Club that you have access to. And, uh, you know, all these charts you've seen today, there must have been maybe 20 charts that dropped into major support areas that I marked in the Sniper Club. If you were in the Sniper Club, you would have seen these areas and uh, you could have taken advantage of some of those zones and some of those areas of interest. So if you're not in Sniper, Sniper Club, I suggest come hang out with us for a month, try it out. Take a look, see if it uh, if it suits what you are looking for. I can guarantee you, uh, if you spend enough time with us in there, you will be a better trader. We even have psycholo psychology sessions uh, to help you guys out because remember, a lot of trading uh, is psychology. It's uh, it's easy enough to read a chart. It's easy enough to open a uh, open a trade. But how do you deal with it mentally? And that's a big thing uh, that people uh, struggle with. And uh, we are there to help you guys. So link in the description for Sniper Club. Come and hang out with us and uh, see uh, what, uh, what we have there for you guys. Okay, another DeFi that I like to talk about. You've seen this on my show multiple times, and uh, it's Velodrome Finance. Okay, so uh, this one we've spoken about many times. You can see this. There, there's been decent pumpage uh, on this guy. We've been talking about this thing uh, since, oh, jeez, I mean, look at this thing. I mean, this was uh, 13th of March. We've been talking about it from way, way, way back. And uh, here we are now. Uh, at these nice highs and it's sitting in a nice little region so i want to bring this one to your attention again velodrome finance there's still for me uh, a lot in the tank here so watch your big area here 0 0.245 watch the zone i think uh, this could be a nice support for us so if we do get some kind of pullback look for a bounce in this region looking for some kind of double bottom there and then the bulls you know the game we're going to play this trend break this is the 12 hour chart and uh, that is what i'm looking for so key supports velodrome finance if you want a piece of this thing uh, 0 0.245 and uh, a little bit lower 0 0.205 all of these zones are nice hot zones for me and if we break that trend well then we're cooking and uh, we just jump uh, we just jump and run i see ashish says uh, paul wants some gummy so for those of you that didn't hear what i said earlier take a look uh, in the description of the show you want the gummy airdrop take a look in the description that's how you're going to get it uh trade on one of those exchanges follow the follow the instructions there uh, in the show description if you want a free gummy airdrop okay that thing is going to be huge i have no doubt uh that it's going to be an absolute banger so take advantage of that okay the next one i've got for you our next category Okay, deepen 81%, DeFi 99%. Okay, now we're getting to the fun zone. Okay, AI, okay, AI performers. What do we need in our lives? Where do we go? Okay, I like to go render. Okay, I always like to open the batting with render. And uh, here we are. So render is still in my box. So we had our pump uh, from yesterday. I gave you guys this entry yesterday. Uh, Sniper Club Traders also got this entry. And uh, we said we might get some chop in this region so there's nothing wrong if you hit a nice little hot zone uh, there's nothing wrong with getting a little bit of chop in the area while we wait uh, for a decision so keep your eyes on this at the moment we are still floating around our box massive support for me that we need to watch 8.9 if we start losing uh, this 8.9 region then we are more than likely looking at lower levels uh, for render but you can see the way i've drawn this chart up you can see why this makes sense you can see why i knew we were going to get some kind of bounce in this area it's the 50-day ma it's the horizontals uh, coming into play for us supported by a 618 fib as well from a major pool so this is hot zone number one for me for render this is where you're laddering in this is where you're looking for buys any weakness into this box that's where you're looking to buy for render and then if they come and take us out and they want to wind this thing down and they want to dump 30,000 Bitcoin and kill the market. Well, fuck, 
good luck to them. Um, but then your next area that you're looking at, 7.9, that's the hot zone uh, that you want to pay attention to. So watch uh, watch 7.9 as your next region of interest here for render. But right now, I am long render. Sniper Club is long render. You guys were long render from yesterday. And uh, this is now, we're still in the box. And until Bitcoin loses those lows, we cannot get uh, too bearish. Um Paul about to kill us all. Just saw someone here, bought some chat space or what? Um, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, guys, let us know. What is Paul saying? What's Paul saying here? Um, <laughs> Jojo. I don't know if I can repeat what Jojo is saying here. Um, <laughs> and uh, Michael Lee is saying, don't sell your effing Bitcoin. Now, remember, guys, there, there, there's a meme coin called don't sell your fucking meme coin. That's what it's called. Okay, that's the name of it. And uh, I'm not going to sell mine. So I told you guys I was buying that thing. And, uh, you know, we got a pullback on that thing and I'm buying some more. Um, so I will not be selling uh, that uh, what, the, the don't sell your fucking Bitcoin uh, on Solana. I will not be selling it because that's the name of the game. Okay, uh, Ocean Protocol. Here's another one. AI for us. And uh, here we go. So Ocean dipping into a nice hot zone. Again, playing games now because we are borderline uh, looking a little bit bearish now on ocean so it needs to save itself okay it needs to do something here very very quickly okay so ocean 786 and uh, you can see yesterday's low pushed down nicely uh, into this region 1.08 that's our low from yesterday so that is our marker we cannot get too bearish until we start losing uh, that region so for me what do i have for ocean i've got a 786 i've got horizontals and we're dancing around this trend okay so it's uh, it's debatable now if we're losing this trend or not so we need to just keep an eye on this level but right now we cannot be bearish until we've lost uh, that low and we cannot be bearish until btc starts losing its low and uh, you can see it's trying very hard uh, at the moment to keep things going here for us so let's just zoom in here on btc and uh, as long as we're maintaining uh, this area, we should be okay. And uh, one eye on dominance, obviously, guys. Always keep your eyes on dominance. Remember, we, we don't want dominance to be pumping because um, that is not gonna that's not gonna help the game. Okay, so Ocean we have covered, and uh, here's GRT. So same story in the box from yesterday. Okay, so no changes yet to GRT. And uh, yesterday I was saying the same thing. We might get a little bit of chop in this area. Nothing wrong with it while we consolidate and wait. And uh, look, it's sitting in the box. So this trade is on for me for GRT. I am long GRT as well and uh, sitting here waiting for some action. So I've marked up a couple of TP zones for you. Uh, number one, 36. Number two, uh, 41. These are the areas I'm looking at now for GRT. And then the lows, the massive marker. Yeah, for us was the low, the dip that they gave us uh, in the dead of the night, uh, 0.319. That is our low that you want to keep your eyes on. So keep your eyes on that low there. If you close underneath that low, okay, then it's a different story. And then we are looking for entries lower down, most likely at the next big reaction zone. And for me, the next big reaction zone is going to be on that 786 uh, at uh, 0. 28 that is my area so these are the these are the zones you need to look uh what does this comment make money travel says to keep public's trust fed must avoid mission creep okay can somebody tell us what mission creep is um leroy what's going on here he says paul's done with his speech leroy tell us it wasn't good it was bad is he trying to end us here um okay let us know if you if you can see what's happening okay so grt i'm long in this box you can see why 50 day ma 618 trend uh multiple reasons why i like this area can they chop us around yes they can chop you around in this box when you start closing under the lows from yesterday then we maybe need to reassess uh where we are but what i would suggest uh, is buy any weakness into the box don't buy the top of the box only buy weakness into the box look for that and then uh, build up your entry um what was this comment here uh i'm just trying to highlight this comment here ever notice that we are bullish when ray got his apple vision I think he wears sunglasses today we are fine. ray bro get that get that apple vision out ray okay bullish bullish okay we bullish again guys okay Give me down. Back, okay. back to normal uh we are back um okay another one for you what i have oh this is uh AI. Okay. Uh, so we're still doing AI. This is claw and uh, nice again, nice little bounce. So we saw a meltdown onto another hot zone. What is the hot zone? Trend 786 fib for us. I like the look of this claw and uh, right now it's fighting a resistance zone. So this is why uh, I wanted to highlight this one for you. Look at this. We're in a resistance area right now. So we've had a nice bounce. 
okay we we, we understand we've got our marker now for claw 0 0.233 we know that that's our low marker that is our support that we can keep our eyes on so if you're building a position if you lose that low then it's a different story then you can start looking uh, to cut but right now we're breaking the 50 day ma it's looking interesting to me if we can start breaking above this 50 day ma and hold as support then i would say we are looking for a nice little move here uh, on this claw and we're going to get a nice push okay so that's why i wanted to highlight this one for you watch this 50 day ma it's a nice little area now and uh, if we can find support so call it if you find support above the 0 0.27 uh, then i would say we are going to start moving higher so keep your eyes on that and then your big marker lower down is going to be your 786 and trend that is 0 0.238 okay watch 0 0.238 that is your support for claw i think uh, this could be a little banger here um okay let's go rwas okay here it is so the best performer other than memes okay and i i, I do a meme show for you guys on friday so i'm not going to get dark into memes yet today um rwa 286 percent up in 2024 okay so what does that tell us after a dip what do you want to buy you want to buy the strength you want to buy the best performers. You want to buy the guys that are sitting in good zones after a dump and that you know uh, could be recovering quite quickly. So those of you that uh, remember, I did a show on RWAs about two weeks ago and we were trading it down here and we were trading it up there. Okay. And we had massive moves uh, on Ondo. So now we finally got another opportunity. If you missed the ride, if you missed the move, you are now at your next hot zone you are now at your first area of interest you are at your first dca zone now uh, for ondo this is why i like it it's the 3a2 it's the horizontal there's a lot going on here uh, for ondo so 0 0.80 loving this area here uh, on ondo keep your eyes on that one i like this for a buy if you're adding to your positions this is your dca zone this is number one uh, where you are adding to your position and then number two i've got another one for you lower down look at this we've got horizontals tied in with 618 i got the 50 day ma tracking here for you bringing up extra support so what i would say 0 0.644 another hot zone for me 0 0.644 and uh, keep your eyes on that look at this guy uh could be a nice little movie here for ondo that's a 20 percent move uh just up to that resistance area if you do get that push down there's a free 20 percent ride and uh, then this is what we're looking for right now uh we're looking for a 20 percent move off this region so same principle if btc loses that low uh, Ondo then should lose the similar low. Okay, there's its low over there, and then we potentially tracking lower. So right now, good area for me for Ondo. As long as BTC is behaving, this is a hot zone. This is an area uh, where we should get uh, a bounce. I see Perska says Paul opened an Avo account. <laughs> Guys, open an Avo account. Okay, it's a Dex, and uh, you know it's uh, yeah. Just read read what they're telling you there in the chats. But uh, you know we've been playing around with this Avo, and uh, I'll get some trades up and running for you guys uh, as well. Okay, next one, Poly Trade. Discussed this one on my show as well when we did the RWAs, and uh, again looking hot, nice little support zone for us. And just like Ondo, uh, we've seen a three A two bounce, so we've got our support marker in play now uh, for Poly Trade. Watch this zone. Uh, 2.47 this is a nice little hot zone for me 2.47 is where it's at now uh, for poly trade that is your that is your marker now that is your support that's your dca zone if you want to build on this position you want to add anything down to this 2.46 for me is a support zone that you want to watch and uh, then lower down you've got to highlight your 618 and your trend if we do get a meltdown if we do get a capitulation today make sure you have your buyers ready and waiting uh, for you 2.05 now remember if we get these capitulations these things happen very fast and uh, you you might think uh, you have time to to act but you mostly don't they happen so quickly they wick down onto these areas and then they send it up and you've missed uh, that move so that's why uh, when we're talking about stink bids these are basically preset preset limit orders at key levels at key support zones uh, that you want to look at because we know when you do get a capitulation you often get these reactions on these zones and then they send those candles up and uh, that's yeah that's the play that's a wrap guys okay so you've got levels you've got uh, areas of interest you can see right now i'm long on this area btc loses those lows then all bets are off we reassess where we are but uh, for me i couldn't not be long based on this current situation with btc and corresponding else so that is my current position and uh, you know let's uh, let's see how it goes tomorrow another day thursday let's see what it looks like uh, tomorrow good luck out there you know your areas and uh, trade safe don't over trade looking forward to tomorrow see you guys later.